Michel Jacques dug this wine cellar with his own hands. The few visitors allowed inside usually end up speechless. Gregorian chants in the air and on the walls a priceless collection of wines from around the globe. There's now more than 40,000 bottles here bearing some of the most prestigious labels in the world. It started originally as a cellar to drink good wine in with the family, then became something for a collection because I was already collecting stamps and minerals. Then I saw that as a collector, the pleasure of having a good cellar could also bring in some money. And from then on, I made the most of it by getting into wine as investment. And the investment was perfectly timed. As nouveau riche Russians and Chinese came into the market in the 1990s, the value of Michel Jacques' collection increased nearly a hundredfold in 10 years. The downside is that he can no longer keep up with the skyrocketing prices. After going into debt, buying up some of the best recent vintages, he's now trying to pass his collection on to a foundation he's created, which he hopes will help the collection survive. I'm going to look for a certain kind of sponsorship whose money will help feed the foundation, not myself, but the Chausseuil Foundation, part of humanity's heritage. You might think his debt could be solved by selling a few Jeroboams. For Michel Jack, that's out of the question. He wants this lot in a museum dedicated to vintage wine. And even without uncorking them, bottles like this Chateau Ikem from 1847, donated by Cartier, still bring him great joy. I've nearly got tears in my eyes. Dear Michel, here is a nectar from 1847, which will be worth more in your cellar than in ours.